Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we are going to be talking fireworks. Because it's almost New Year's here, um, it's just kind of a cool add-on. So this is going to be um, a cool build and it's just going to be pretty much the basics. It's not going to be a long video but it's going to be a, a basic. So as you guys can see we have eight chests in front of us here. Um, there's always two steps into creating the uh, firework, the actual firework itself. So you have the step one right here, which is the um, firework star. To get a firework star, you have to use gunpowder and any color dye. So to show you guys that, you just use a piece of gunpowder here, and then we will use uh, lime green right there just so uh, you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this will give us a small lime green firework uh, ball, right? So that's in its simplest form. Now to make this the actual rocket part of this, I have it set up into three different stages here. The first one, just be, we're just gonna do it simple. You would throw down your firework star that you just made. You would throw down a piece of paper in the center and then you would throw one piece of gunpowder. What that will do is now it's a small, um, ex a small ex ball explosion, the color of lime, and it has a flight duration of one, which means it does not shoot that high up into the sky. So there's three levels that you can use. The level one, it explodes pretty low to the ground. Now, if we were to add more pieces of gunpowder underneath, and I can open up this chest and show you guys what I'm talking about. The one is what we just created. If you threw down two pieces of gunpowder in there, then it would have a flight duration of two, which would mean it would go a little bit higher than the one. And then if you threw down three pieces of gunpowder across the bottom, then it would have the flight duration of three, meaning that it would go extremely high compared to the other ones. So uh, this is just a sample. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna show you guys how to make another one here. We will start it out in the first step. The simplest form is a piece of gunpowder. We can throw down a colored die, which gives us the small ball orange um, color explosion. And then what we could do here is if we wanted a certain um, effect to it, we could add glowstone, right? So this glowstone now turns it into a small explosion. It's the orange color and it will have this twinkle and sparkle effect behind it. So that was step one. Once we do that first step, we can bring this up, we bring a piece of paper up, and then for this one, we will go two pieces of gunpowder. What this will give us is the flight duration of two. So I will show you guys how this one works now. And uh, let's just make sure we select the correct one. We got the flight duration two here. And uh, let, let me make sure that I have that right. The Flight duration is the first one, so right here. So as you guys see, this goes up a little bit higher and it's a different color. And if you guys listen closely there, you could hear the uh, twinkle and sparkle effect. See how it has all those extra explosions in there? Okay, and then uh, let's just do another color. So we'll use uh, purple, we'll use a piece of gunpowder like this, and we will throw um, a diamond in here. What the diamond's gonna do now is that's gonna give us a trail effect. So with the trail effect, we can use our firework star plus a piece of paper, and we're gonna go three up high this time. So this will give us a flight duration of three. So now that if when we launch this one, it's gonna go up even higher and the explosion is actually gonna have a trail effect behind it. So as you guys can see how that trail effect works, that's kind of how you make these. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break here and I'm gonna set up for the next part of this. Hey so guys, hey, we folks. are back and we've already covered basically the left side of these cases, right? So we've already done step one, step two, the flight duration. Uh, plus we use the glowstone dust and the diamond. Now let's cover the stuff that is on the right hand side here. So as you guys can see by looking at the signs, if we use a fire charge, we're going to get a large ball explosion. If we use a gold nugget, we're going to get a, a star shaped explosion. If we use any type of head, meaning the creeper heads or the Steve heads or the wither skeleton heads, any type of the heads, 
we're going to get a creeper face explosion or if we use a feather we're going to get a burst type explosion so to kind of show you guys what i'm talking about here is we're going to create our regular color so we'll just use purple in this case so right now it's just at a small ball that's purple and then we can add um, an explosion type design so if we use the fire charge now you can see the fire charge turns into a large ball type explosion if we want to use the gold nugget right there it turns into a star shaped explosion if we want to use this uh, creeper head then it will turn into a creeper shape explosion and if we use the feather it will turn into a uh, burst type explosion so uh, with with that in mind we're just gonna create the um, let's use the large ball I think that one works out pretty pretty good for show wise so that creates that the thing to remember for these is I'm gonna bring this one down any of these four that are on this side the fire charge gold nugget any head or the feather you can only use one of these when you're crafting the firework explosion so you can't combine um, you can't combine let's just use uh, red this time you're not able to combine both a fire charge and a gold nugget to get a um, a large ball plus star explosion you you're not you can't do that so uh, with, with that in mind we can only use uh, one style so for this one we're gonna use a star shaped and right there we now have a star shaped one right now another another add-on that we can use for this type of thing is we could use both the glowstone dust and the diamond if we like to so there we go we can bring both of these in so if you guys remember the glowstone dust gives us our sparkle and twinkle effect the diamond give us, gives us our trail effect so now we have a star shaped red trail and twinkle type firework star now with this we could also add more colors into it so we could throw blue into it we could throw uh, orange into it we could throw purple into it um, we could throw a lime green into it so now as you guys can see we have a star shaped that's red blue orange purple lime it has the trail effect and it's twinkle and it's the star shaped so <laughs> with that then you can bring up the paper and the different levels of the gunpowder so for this one we'll, we're just gonna do since it's a large ball explosion we'll use two gunpowders and that will give us a flight duration of two for our star shaped one we're gonna use three gunpowders so here's one two three that's gonna give us a flight duration of three so um, I'm going to set up some sort of I'm um, gonna well I can I can show you guys these now I suppose just to give you guys an idea the flight duration two we have a large ball that's gonna be purple so we can launch that it's gonna go way up and it's a large ball that's purple now we can use our star shaped now our star shaped one has a bunch of different colors in it and it's star shaped it has a trail and twinkle effect so listen closely so you've seen all the different uh, colors going off there and there you go it has the twinkle effect it has all that so um, the things to note here is when you're when you're crafting these uh, to get the different shapes to get the different effects all has to be done in step one step two is simply just the flight duration so it's actually making the rocket so the step two is where you use the paper and you use the gunpowder as you guys can see here which I showed before and it has just one for flight duration of one two flight duration of two three flight duration of three so um, I hope this is helpful guys I'm gonna set up a little kind of um, show just a little show here guys so hang tight and I will see you guys in the evening hey guys we are back and I wanted to show you guys uh, the setup that I've done here so let's turn on the fireworks and let's have them go this is gonna be very cool guys so I hope you enjoy it it's kind of like a finale we got quite a few in there some creeper faces popping up
and we turned it off. So guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, and bye-bye. <laughs>